Well, one thing's for certain. No pig built this spaceship because if they did, the food replicator would be right here next to the seat. Not somewhere in the back where we lost it. I'm so hungry. Hey everybody, I'm the Pigglesworth, and we're back for another installment of Planetary Confinement. Confinement. <laughs> oh, just for effect. So in the last episode, we ended where we needed to go get some bones to make a bone crook. Apparently we need to steal some more bones, so now we have to hire crooks. So a bone crook. Let's see. It looks like a bone candy cane to me. Candy canes are good. I like that. So let's see. One, two, three, four bones will get us a crook. So we could do that. That's easy. Draw a shape like that. There we go. Used to harvest string from cobwebs. That's cool. Oop. And I got string. So I built a crook and got string. So I guess I don't need it anymore. <laughs> we'll go ahead and drop this in here. And I'm starting to run low on ammo. Oh, we got a little bit more here. That'll help. So, I'm going to have to figure out what is it we can do to kill bad guys without using up our shots. Because it's taking multiple shots to kill a skeleton. And only every once in a while do they drop more of these. So, we'll have to figure that out. But let's see here. So, we needed to make a sieve. And you craft an oak sieve from six planks and one silk mesh you can then place dust blocks on top of it to find raw materials awesome uh, remember to use the crafting module guide to look up recipes so six plank six planks and a silk mesh so i guess we have to look up silk mesh to figure that out hello hello space traveler <laughs> um Okay, so we'll go through here. We don't need the blocks. The planks. Okay, that's standard fare. Uh, no, not a distress beacon. An oak sieve. Okay, so blanks, planks on each side and a cobweb in the middle. And let's see. Shears. No, where'd it go? The, hmm. Maybe blocks? Doo -doo -rink -a -doo. No. No. Well, darn it. Well, okay, so let's look at it one more time. A silk mesh. One silk mesh. That's what we're looking for. So let's see. I know some of y'all are like, Piggy, Piggy, back. Over there. Over there. I can't hear you. My radio is not working right. Um, Silk mesh. I don't see. Do you see silk mesh? Oh, my gosh. There's more pages. Okay, let's just. And food and drink. Seasoned flesh. What is that? Sugar and rotten flesh? Cookies? We'll make cookies and mushrooms? Wow, there's like all kinds of stuff on this planet, apparently. Whoa, what is that? Cactus juice. Oh, so we should go get some cactus. Okay. Eye juice. All the better to see you with, my dear. Um, oh, and lemongrass. We can make some kind of tea out of that. So that's what that stuff is for. Okay, so let's back up. Um, silk mesh, nine pieces of string, and we've got two in our inventory, and five here, so that's seven. So we only need two more. Sweet! So let's go ahead, we could do this on camera, because we only need two. And I was killing some spiders, and they dropped some stuff. Oop! And some free food, look at that. So we left, right click, no, right click, defends, left click, okay, so there's one. And there was some over here, because, oh, there we go back over here because they were coming after me and I was popping them and usually when you shoot the huh I wonder if we were to break the dirt or the dust quote unquote the dust around this if this would so it won't let me okay there we go but it won't let me break that I can actually walk right through it so this it's the amazing floating bones <laughs> or drumsticks that's what it looks like. It looks like drumsticks. Let me see if I can do this right. Uh, nope. Oh, I got a bone sticking out of me. Bones, help me. Um, okay. So, if only we had a drum, it'd be like ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum. Nah, it doesn't really look like drumsticks like that, does it? Okay. <laughs> so we'll go over here, 
and let's go ahead and just harvest this as well. So we got three here and seven inside the spaceship. <gasps> Check it out. The tree grew on its own. Awesome. I thought I was going to need bone meal constantly. So we won't need bone meal. And we'll grab these planks. I'll come back for more later. But we will need the saplings to make sapling mash. Yeah. Because pigs like mash. Um, so we'll just do that for safety. Um, don't need anybody sneaking up on us while we're building stuff. And let's see. Four, eight. Okay, I think that's going to be enough planks. So let's go ahead. Whoop. I can't remember where I read it, but it said something about if you drop two items in there, you're only going to get one back. It's like something to do with the way the custom crafting module works. So that was why I panicked there. Okay, so we got that, and that goes there. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Schwitz, we get a cardboard box. <laughs> a, de a deplorable, a deplorable oak sieve. Oh, I can't stand here. So deplorable. Sifting through sand. Got a quest complete. Okay, so now what's next? Playing with fire. Oh, come on. You don't ever want a pig to play with fire. Because then we'll get bacon. We, don't, we can't have bacon. Two pieces of coal. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Use four small stones to make cobblestone. And then use eight cobble to make a furnace. And that's like normal Minecraft making a furnace. So we got two small stones. Let's see. Let's go through here. Cobblestone. Okay, so we have to get four stones to make cobblestone. Well, how do you get stones? Functional tools, items and materials. I'm not seeing it. I wonder if it has to do with the sieve. So what is this? A, a, de a deplorable? It's deplorable. It's so terrible, it's deplorable. Maybe we put it here? Okay. Um, now what? <laughs> Nothing's happening. Nothing is coming out of the sieve. Uh, you know what a sieve is actually for? Have you ever seen like people going panning for gold or something? And they put stuff... Or uh, I got a better example. So like you're cooking and you want to... You have lumpy flour. And you want to make it all poofy or smooth. You put it in a sieve and you shake it. And all the flour gets all powdery and falls out the bottom. So, let's see. What will we put up there? Maybe quicksand? Nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe dust. Aha! Whoa! And we got something. That's really odd. We got string out of dust, some bone meal, and some redstone. Let's see what else we can get. Sweet! We're going to get all kinds of cool stuff out of here, aren't we? And it looks like we've, we're getting stones. Okay, so stones come from dust. Ooh, zinc, iron, gold, gunpowder, salt. Salt? That looks familiar. I wonder. What was the recipe? Let's go over here. Function, uh, it was food. So seasoned flesh. Oh, so it's not sugar, it's salt. So let's click here. And do this. Seasoned flesh. Awesome. So let's see what happens with this. How much hunger do we fulfill or refill? Munchy munchy. Nothing. That's not good. <laughs> didn't get anything out of that. And the problem is we use salt. And I didn't pay attention to my hydration. But I bet that messed with the hydration. Let's go and drink us some water and see what happens. So hydration went up and temperature went down. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought I lost the water bottle there. So, okay, so that's how we get our hydration under control and change our temperature. Awesome. So we'll leave that there for now. And we managed to get all kinds of junk out of the dust. So what are we supposed to be getting? Stones? Stones for cobble. Okay, so we got to make cobble. And let's see. So if I draw four, get a piece of cobble. So I need to collect a whole bunch more dust before the sun goes out, which is about to go down, darn it. Um, I need to go outside and start collecting dust before the sun goes down. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to collect some dust. I'm going to start sieving it through and see if we can get us some stones going so that we can build ourselves a furnace, a regular Minecraft furnace. Ah, oh, the things you got to do to survive on a barren 
empty planet. So I'll be right back. So I'm sitting here <laughs> working this sieve, and I start noticing. Do y'all notice anything? <laughs> it looks like I'm cooking. <laughs> We're cooking bacon. This is not good. I, I think what's going on is the temperature is going way up, and my hydration is going down. And that's, I'm, I'm actually cooking in the spacesuit. So, let's see, what does this do? Does this make the temperature go down? That's funny. Okay, so apparently the oxygen is only needed in the helmet. The rest of it is just snazzy, snazzy, nice little wear. Let's see. I don't see it changing. But I am cooking. <laughs> we can't have a cooking pig. Um, now, this doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's nighttime in a desert. It would be freezing cold outside. So you think my temperature would go down. Uh, okay, so apparently the only way we can get our temperature to go down is by hydrating ourselves. So let's... I really don't like how that bottle disappears. It always makes me think I'm losing it. Um, let's do this. Okay, so hydration is in the green, but the temperature is still red. We got a few more bottles of water here. Let's start chugging these down. Temperature went... Okay, it's at 77. So we'll drink this. It's in the green, and we're not cooking. There's no lean bacon for you. Yeah. I need to see how long till that lemongrass grows. Hmm. Well, back to Thiven. Because we need stuff. So I got to looking outside the window at night. And it seems like you can see a little bit farther. There's some stuff right over there. It almost looks like... Like part of the ship crashed over there, doesn't it? And I'm scouting around for cactus, because I noticed we can make cactus juice. I don't know what that's for, but there's a cactus right there, or a cacti, <laughs> in that little building. It's bugging me. That seriously looks like a villager right there, doesn't it? I wonder. Um, okay, so, and lemongrass. I got some lemongrass. I was able to break, and it gave me one. Or it gave me two, and I replanted one. And I noticed also this. So we get gum powder and redstone dust. And let's see. Somewhere in here. Where did I see that? Shards. See that? So one, two, so six dust and one gum powder will give me four shards. So I can. I can make more uh, bullets for my gun. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I wonder if running outside at night, nice, if it will make it where your hydration and stuff and your temperature won't go up as fast. Because when I'm thinking what we need to do, if we can do this without dying. Oh, my hunger's going. All right, we'll just eat the beef. Let's see, we'll go ahead and eat this. Okay, that should be, that should be good. Let's hope we don't get creepered here. Um, whoa, talk about getting creeper, they're waiting for me. You get, gosh, there's a bunch of them. So, oh my gosh, and more bad guys spawned. So, I don't know, it looks safe. We'll go ahead and run over this way. And, oh good, there's some cactus over here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. And I see something green over at that little building over there. <gasps> there is something over here. And it's stinking parkour. I hate parkour. Um, and the sun's coming up. Good. So we should be safe from bad guys. Let's see if we can do this. I really, really have a hard time with parkour. Darn it. I bet I have to jump towards that, that smaller spot. You get out, mister. You go. We're going to... Let's not waste a bullet on this guy. That guy's got a shovel. I bet. That's what it looks like. I wonder if I could get his shovel. All right. <laughs> what? You? Okay. Oh, that would be awesome if we could get his tool. Nope. No tool. Oh, well. So let's go back over here because I t I'm going to be honest with you. I really, really want to know what's in that chest. Can I get it? 
can almost... Oh, they get it one block higher. Well-designed map, sir. Um, okay, so we'll jump here. Let's aim... Oh, that's a block and a half up, so that will never... Oh my gosh. What am I doing parkouring up? <laughs> when I could just pillar up. What in the world am I thinking? Ah, uh, map. You map maker. I have figured out the trick. So let's just pillar up here. So much easier. So some gold, some salt, and some stones. And I wonder if I can break this and take it with us. That would be cool. Nice. But it does drop. Now what would be great is if I could come back and get these, these sandstone blocks. Because we could use them to build like a barrier. It would be nice if we had like a protective barrier around our spaceship. Um, he should be burning, shouldn't he? Let's go see. I'm really intrigued by this. Why is he not burning when he's a skeleton? <gasps> because he's a wither. Oh, I wonder what they give you. Whoa, they go down like a sack of potatoes. That's what they do. And they don't drop anything. Yes, yeah, stinkers. Let's go ahead and get this. That'll help for sure. It looks like there's some some plant growth going on in a door and a house. Almost like a little homestead was out here. Dirt. Nice. You know what we can do with this dirt? Did I get it? Okay, good. So we can plant... Oh, potatoes. Nice. So we can make us some food. I can get way more trees growing so we can get more of that mash. What is it? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. Um. So, we'll just take that. Darn it, I should have brought some bottles. We're going to have to come back for that because I want to save that water if it's not poisoned. Huh. I wonder what happens if I break... I, I broke the head. I broke a head. Wait. Walking egg's head. Walking egg's head. <laughs> yeah, egg head. I'm half tempted to put it on my... Oh my gosh. But if I do, I'll like start dying. Can I break the door? Because if I can break the door, we could have a door to the spaceship. Nice. So we got a door to the spaceship now instead of having to keep replacing sand. And I'm cooking. We're cooking bacon again. This is not good. We're out in the sun. We're cooking the bacon. Um, darn. Okay. So I am going to just collect these cacti. Cactus. Get some cacti. On my way back to the spaceship. And get inside. And get my hydration down. And then I'm going, blah, blah. I'm going to see about trying to get all the rest of the cobble. Because I'm almost there. Um, if I'm... Oh, there we go. If I'm not mistaken, I need like two more pieces of cobble. So I'm going to get some more cobble so we can get that furnace going. Get some more trees growing. And we'll be right back. Well, made it back inside the ship and we went ahead and installed a door. Nice. Now what I'm really glad is whoever made this map was smart enough to make it or a bad guys don't spawn in here. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. It's pretty dark in here. Let me check. Yeah, look at that. We've got, like, darkness back in here. Now, I guess what it is is I'm, I'm still close enough to the area. Bad guys won't spawn because I can't remember what the distance is. I think it's 40 blocks for them to spawn. I mean, that guy right there just spawned in front of us. But, so you can see where the trees are growing. I've got some more trees planted outside. And, okay, cool. This lemongrass grew. So let me show you. So we pop it. See how I got two? So I can plant that. Let's see if we can make an emergency run out here, and I'll show you. So I got these trees growing, I got some cactus going, and I went ahead and got some more lemongrass growing. So we're going to get ourselves a nice little garden going out here. And let's see, my hydration is still pretty high. I'll go ahead and show you this. Um, so you take a bottle and some cactus, cacti. Did I put that in there? Okay. <laughs> it looks like I didn't. Um... One here, one here, and at first I'm like, poison two. Right, but watch this. So see my hydration is at 96. Whoop, 
it goes up, but we get stuck with poison for a few seconds. So it's kind of a trade-off. So it's good as a source of water because we can get cactus a whole lot easier than these saplings. But we're going to need to have some food to offset that damage. Um, I'll go ahead and eat this so I can regain the hearts. Now, also noticed I was watching some footage from my previous episode. Um, I am playing this in easy. So that means when I die, I will reg uh, not regen. Uh, well, I do regen. It gives me all my hearts and everything back. Um, but I think the other version was hardcore. So if you die, like everything's deleted. Game over. That's it. Yeah, we've already demonstrated Piggy ain't, Piggy ain't good like that. So... <laughs> Uh, but what I am going to try and do is I'm going to try and stay as alive as possible for my hydration and food. Um, I'm not going to use the fact that if I die, I get everything back because that would kind of be cheating. Um, let's see. But if I do happen to die by accident, you know, we'll just go with it. Let's see here. What was I trying to do? Oh, yeah. So I managed to get enough cobblestone. Oh, I got more dust in here. I didn't know that. Um... Got a bunch of this stuff going right here. I do want to separate those because that we can make more weapon stuff. And I'm not 100% sure about this. And the salt we're going to use for the flesh. And I got to thinking about it. I bet we have to cook the rotten flesh. And then it's going to um, it's going to give us more health. Just like how you have to cook normal food. So let's see. We'll go ahead and make our furnace now. Furni. One furnace is a fern eye. Um, Woohoo! Playing with fire. And being stuck out in the sun, we were playing with fire. And now he's playing with fire. <laughs> right on cue. Um, now, I don't understand what the difference is between these wither guys and the skeletons. Oh, no, I know what the difference is. These wither guys, they don't die in the sun, but the skeletons do. So, apparently... It's still dangerous to go outside, even in the daytime. So, we got some coal. We got a furnace. Forging steel. Galvanized steel ingot will be our reward. Let's see. To forge a galvanized steel ingot, you'll need three iron ingots, three zinc, and three coal or charcoal. It's a tough price to pay, but steel is an important material in crafting tools. Okay, so I guess the object objective is I need to collect this stuff and get some charcoal going. Uh, so the charcoal, I know that we can do that by cooking wood. I'm going to go ahead and pop that there. Um, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think. No, well, let's try this. So we're going to do that and that. That's going to cook that into a piece of charcoal. And then eight. Eight or nine, I can't remember. It's like my little brain suddenly fried. I think it's eight, but we'll go for nine. Just go for broke. But that's going to give us uh, some charcoal. So we'll have that. I've got all this stuff in here. So I'm going to have to consult the manual. We'll consult the manual and figure out how to make these ingots. But I think that's going to be about it for this episode. We have managed to get some good progress going. We got our we got our trees. We explored whatever it is, and we do need to go back over there and get that water and that barrel. Um, and hopefully we can get some more of this cactus growing. That's going to help get some apples from the trees. And I'm really curious to see what this lemongrass tea is going to do for us. So, back stuck on the planet again, but we're making progress. Hopefully we'll get a chance we can phone home. Piggy can phone home and get off this barren Ooh, bad. Oh, bad. <laughs> you stay out there, sir. You bad. Blasters are set to stun. Kapow! Oh, that didn't work. And there we go. Oh, oh my gosh, it catches you on fire. <gasps> oh, no, so we do it. <laughs> oh, that is not good. That is not good at all. We're going to grab that. We're going to shut the door. And we're going to stay safely inside. I love how I can see outside now. We're going to stay safely inside and start collecting some more stuff. So I'm going to collect some more stuff and see if I can figure out how to make these ingots. And I will see you guys in the next episode.